Hello, this is Dr. Bulshan Sahani, your physics and math tutor. This question is on induced voltage. Find the voltage induced across a coil of 22 milli Henry if the rate of change of current through the coil is. So there are various values of current changes given. Uh, the first one is one ampere per second. The second one is one milli ampere per millisecond. And the third one is two milli amperes per 10 microsecond. So if you go by the law of uh, induced EMF, then induced EMF or the induced voltage is negative of rate of change of flux. So uh, negative of d5 by dt uh, is equal to the induced EMF. And if you plug in the value of uh, uh, flux here in the case of uh, uh, a solenoid, then the flux induced is equal to L times I, where L is the coefficient of self-inductance or self-inductance, which is in Henry. And uh, then we can work out the value of induced EMF. And negative sign here simply signifies the direction of induced EMF or the direction of induced current. So if you plug in the value here, I get the induced EMF is negative L di upon dt, where di upon dt is the rate of change of current, which is given in different cases different. Uh, case A, uh, it is 1 ampere per second. So if I plug in the value of di by dt as 1 ampere per second, then uh, my voltage generated uh, in the case of 1 is Ea equals negative 22, 10 to the power negative 3, because milli Henry is uh, 10 to the power negative 3 of Henry. So we plug in the value in Henry here. So the voltage in the first case works out to be uh, negative 22, 10 to the power negative 3 volts. Uh, which can be uh, set as 22 millivolts. In the second case, the current is changing at the rate of one milliampere per millisecond. And if we plug in millisecond as uh, seconds and then millisecond, uh, milliampere as uh, ampere and millisecond as uh, second, then it again works out to one ampere per second. And therefore the voltage in this case is also 22 volts, uh, 22 millivolts or 22 10 to the power negative 3 volts. Uh, negative sign again simply here means the induced current direction is opposite to the direction of uh, uh, inducer. The, the, what direction the inducer is changing the flux, the induced current is always opposite to that. In the third case, the current is changing at the rate of 2 milliamperes per 10 microsecond. So 2 milliamperes makes us 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 amperes and 10 microsecond means 10 multiplied by 10 to the power negative six seconds. That works out to be 200 ampere per second. And if I plug in the value of 200 ampere per second here, and the value of uh, self-inductance again as uh, 22 and 10 to the power negative three, I get the voltage in this case is negative 4.4 volts. And why is this voltage so high? because the rate of change of current is high as compared to the other cases. First case is one ampere per second. Second case again is one ampere per second. But in the third case is 200 amperes per second. So the voltage is much higher in this case. So here's the application of uh, uh, induced EMF when the flux is changing. L is Henry, that is the coefficient of self-inductance or just the self-inductance. And here we get the values of uh, induced voltage is generated in each case. I hope this should work. Thank you so much. Enjoy the day.